And our first fight involves a man named Ham. Halil Ham taking on DTG. DTG, 23 years old. He's got a five inch height advantage and a four inch reach edge. And he's heavier as well, 222 pounds for 217 for Halal Ham. It is scheduled for three rounds. Let's go into the ring now and Haas. Okay, three, three rounds, guys. When I say break, stop throwing punches, step back, protect yourself at all times, and obey my command at all times. I just want clean boxing. In this contest, there's, there's no standing out counts unless you hit the canvas, okay? Just box, and I'll expect yourself to act respectfully to each other and me, okay? Good luck. What if Ham took the mic and said, I expect you to show up on time, <laughs> mofo? Did you hear that, though? There's no standing aid unless someone hits the canvas. Let's keep Ooh. an eye on that. Well, it would be impossible to give a standing eight if someone was laying exactly, down. Exactly, but the eight count nonetheless. For sure. All right, here Six we go. DTG and Halal Ham, our first go, fight. We go, X we go, Series we 2. Oh, okay. Oh. Immediately on the jab. Big swings. I think a back oh, left, left hand. hand. Oh. Left hand there. We have oh. some mayhem already, Todd. Right. <laughs> we have a brawl already. It's already a war. Hey, nice jab right hand here. Okay, okay DTG. I'll try to manage that range a little better, though. I have to say, DTG is surprised me. Hey, he's got, like I said, he's coming out focused. More energy. Oh, and he's talking to him here. They're both throwing right hands. Him looking a little bit flustered by this pace early on, Todd. Right hand on the ear. Blood coming out from Hello, a lot of grappling in there. He's maneuvering in here now. He's hurt. I think he's bleeding. Again, DTG surprising some people right now. His corner's screaming at him to focus. Oh, God. Really, referee? Yeah, what are we doing here? Let's fight. Let's fight. And again, you see DTG coming forward. Initiating this pace on, on Ham. I don't think he was ready for this, guys. And you're right, Kenny. There is some blood coming from the nose here from Royal Ham. He did not expect that. I mean, that ducks under the hook. That might be a little low. We got some more instruction here. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, say it, Ty. What Gareth you Morris, a.k.a. Johnny Come Lately. <laughs> Come on, let him fight. Let's go, baby, let's go. What are you doing? Sorry, had to be a fan. Had to, had to for a second there. And oh, again, overhand right just misses. While it's not necessarily as technically sound as we're used to seeing, DTG is working behind the jab here. Now look at Halal Ham come back, and now we're swinging. You know, DTG needs to go to the body. There's yeah. plenty of body to go to. Yes. They're all head hunting. Go to the body. Now this is where we start to see the gas tank from both guys. Who is going to Oh, big shot lands for DTG. Right to the head. And a right hand from Alal Ham coming back. Woo, baby. Now the boys are swinging. 30 seconds, guys. And you can see the strategy from Alal Ham. He wants that pull right hand. He's sitting on it, waiting for it. There's a body punch. Shorts are falling down a bit. We got a wardrobe malfunction there for All DTG. Good. All good. But you see both guys are starting to feel that pace. Ten second mark. A pawing jab from DT Dree, trying to find his range. Oh, nice little check up there. Really nice. A step in hook from Ham at the end there. And that will do it for a wild round one. Yeah, listen, man. Um, that first round did not disappoint. It's tough. I did it's, not expect that from DT I was going to say, it's tough to see what Halal Ham does here now, other than stick to the game plan, because early on, he, he was getting pieced up there. Yeah. But yeah. as the round comes to the close there, you start to see a little bit of that pace effect in DTG, and you're seeing now some of the deep breaths. You see how that affects him in round number two here, but a great showing in round one.
X Series 3 coming your way next month live from the capital of Texas. What's the capital of Texas, Kitty? Austin. You did it. Yeah, and it features Haseem Rahman Jr. and Vitor Belfort. Wade, what's your early thoughts on that? Man, you know what? You get Haseem Rahman Jr. in a four-round fight, no feel-out process. Corners, 10 Belfort seconds. Better be careful. And I believe we'll be hearing out. from Haseem Rahman a little later two. in this broadcast. He's in the Steel City in Sheffield. Round two, scheduled for three. You know, Todd, I, I took a look here at Halal Ham between rounds. He's also feeling this pace, and he didn't—he wasn't as forward in that first round. So him already being on this back foot, being a tad bit gas, we're gonna see if that affects him here. Oh, nice left hand. And there it is again. You see, Halal Ham wants to throw the pull right hand. Oh, there's okay. some, now there's some skills being shown. He's settling down a little bit, his yeah. hand. He's found the yeah. timing, Todd. That's what it is. He's found the one, two, and that's what DTG continues to go to. A jab, pawing right hand, and he sits back. Lean hook right hand on the return. Jeez. DTG stands for down to the ground. That's where his pants keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that right hand just barely missing there from DTG. I feel like Halal Ham wants to open up more, but that right hand from DTG is kind of preventing him. Yeah, keeping him honest, Tom. There, keeping him occupied. More of those from Halal Ham would be nice. More feints there would be great. Yeah, straight punches are always way better, and DTG with the straightest right hand we've seen. There you go. There's another one, left hook. Ham on his back foot now. DTG step to the side here, cut off a low hand. That's where he wants him. Try not to chase him. Oh, yeah. Walked right into that one. Oh, he spins. Look at this. Pushes him away. And of course, Russell's got a jabber jaw. <laughs> what are we doing here, DTG? Don't turn. I think DTG's gasping for air. Yep. This is technically a heavyweight bout. Yeah. Both men well over 210 pounds. And listen, Halal Ham is, is welcoming him coming forward. He's like, listen, I don't have to move. You're just going to come to me and hey, I can counter. I think DTG wants out of this fight. Oh. That's a nice right hand, cheeky right hand there. Goodness, still holding power. Just box. I'm saying. Well, Ham is sitting in there. One of those lands is going to hurt. Just missing with a right was DTG. Under a minute to go in the second. A big swing and a miss with that windmill right hand. Todd, that was an outfield throw from the Yankees. Yeah. Hey, those will drain your energy, too. I'm telling you. You don't practice missing punches in the gym. I, Todd, I think you are uh, hitting the nail on the head with, with DTG right now. It just looks like his focus is broken. You hear the corner, Todd, touch the body. We haven't seen it. Where is the body work gone? These guys are already both tired. That would be the difference here. Stop boxing! Wow. I have to say, Halal has done well to propose himself after the, the first round of yeah. back in the second round. Yeah. I mean, if we're sitting here now, I could see a 1-1 fight heading into this third, the way the DTG came out. I could also see the way Halal Hal finished uh, second and first round. I think if we can see a 2-0 round to Halal, but Either way, this third round is going to be super important, and Kenny, you nailed it. Whoever's going to keep their composure here in this third and have the energy to continue is probably going to win this fight. But it's going to come down to that. And you see right now, Halal Ham, just the heavy breathing. Being able to refocus and fight through this third round is going to be all important. Kenny, talk to me about what it means in this, these moments, right? We're in a close fight. Corner, 10 seconds. One round could possibly make the difference. What's going through your I'm mind? two close fights. <laughs> right, right. So what's going Seconds through your mind so, right so here? Third really and last round. The line of the last round, to yeah. be honest. It's, you know, it's a close fight because you can't, you know, you can't let it go to the judges. Right. You never know what controversy could happen. Right. So it's going to be interesting to see how this round plays out. All right, let's see what these two have left. Round three. Work that jab, work that jab, work that jab, step forward, back 
There's a little right hand to the body. See some more of that. There you go, look at that. We're, we're hiding right hands behind the lead paw. If you're DTG, I, I like the strategy, man. Just leave it out there. Let him see that lead hand. Well, there's a right that lands for Ham. It's just kind of a, a flurry from both guys. You can't really tell who gets the better of those exchanges. You just hear flesh and gloves smacking each other. Yeah, and all Ham has had this timing now for the last two rounds where he knows the jab right hand's coming. He's trying to, to exit with the hook and maybe follow up with the right hand. He's seen it a couple times now. There it is, but both guys land there. DTG seems to have found uh, his second win, so to speak. Yeah, composed, coming forward. Yeah. And what you're seeing, too. Oh, and he got caught there. What in the world? All him was about to attempt a frog splash, it looked like, there off the top. But you, <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I will say, I like what DTG is doing with his lead hand. He's inching his way into range with it, just subtly, right? He's not poking it out there and, and, and actually jabbing. He's just using it to enter range. And trying, they're they're really struggling to keep these. Hey, Kenny, why don't you go in there and give him a help with that guy's underwear, <laughs> would you? <laughs> get a, a bonnet or Come something. On. We get it. Jeez. Yeah. All, All right. right. Oh, tight. Here we go. <laughs> you said they're tight, Kenny. Yeah. Look at the back. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a giant diaper. Kenny, see, Kenny, focusing on the back. Oh, hey. Gotta compose yourself there, DTG. Just a slip there from Halal Ham. Minute 30 left. I'm not sure who's really winning this fight. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell right now who's, who's taking it. Really gotta make a difference in these last minute and, and change. Oh, a jumping punch from Ham. Double, the jumping double. You haven't seen it since Pacquiao. Oh, right hand. Who said pigs couldn't fly? <laughs> oh, oh that right, right on the gloves, okay. but that okay. affected him. Oh, right hand again. Ham lives for another day. DTG trying to wave him in, both gasping for air. Oh, there was a body right punch. The body, we like that. DTG, listen, he's, he's coming for it. With his right hand as well, he keeps it where it has to be. I was going to gonna say. Touch him, touch him with it. And you see what I'm saying, Kenny? He walks into range with that jab, and it's almost a deterrent. He's technically, fundamentally there. Yeah, DTG is taking over this round and this fight. I think Ham is gassed. Oh, shot. Oh, got him twice again. Ham running on fumes. Yeah, Ham's going to need to do something really special here to turn the tide. Big right hand, left hook. Oh. And that will do it. What's a great There fight. it is. Great fight. Good finish for DTG. Honestly, that, that last minute can make the difference, man. Well, hey, you know, there was a fight on our last series where we thought one guy won and another guy won, right? Yeah. <laughs> who was that, Wade? I don't know, man. It, it Wade, like, who was that? It feels like that, that guy, you know, that did take the victory might be close by, okay. so we better watch our mouths. Right. I, I don't want to catch up. one, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, but no, it, Kenny, you've been in this situation. You yeah, know? I have, I have. It's, uh, it's nerve-wracking because when it's a close fight, you don't really know. You know? When you're in the ring, it's completely different to yeah. watching the back. So. Yeah. But I don't know. Who do you think? I think just about DTG edged that. Yeah, man. If, if, if I'm if I'm playing scorecard here, it looks like it's going to have to go, in my opinion, to DTG. That last two minutes really sealed well, it for him. The third round was definitely DTG. It's just the first two. You know, if DTG one of one of those first two, he's got it. But you never know. Yeah. That's the hard part. Is round one you can see going to DTG because the way he started. But Ham did finish that round yeah. strong. Well, and Ham with two. And, he, and the judges see when blood's coming out of your nose and on your mouth. You see the damage. It's hard to, to you know give the other guy the round when you see that sort of display. Yeah. And it obviously DTG. DTG closed much stronger, so yeah. it feels like a 2-1 round win for DTG, maybe 3-0, but stranger things have happened in the sweet science. That's true. That is true. There's Salt Poppy in the corner. I wonder what he thinks of the performance for Ham. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, Salt Poppy is a guy that was taken the distance by Ham as well, so that, that just shows you sometimes you never can predict these fights. Salt Poppy being one of the guys at the top of this crossover boxing scene and, and all him going the distance with him. That's why a lot of people came into this saying, does DTG, does DTG have what it takes? And, and sure enough, he did. And the pants held up. After a long struggle, they held up. Fair play.
What's your gut tell you here, Kenny, as we await the judges' scorecards? Uh, I think TTG just about edged it. You know, towards the end of the final round, he really put it all on the line. In round one, I think round two was Halal Ham, and then round one to DTG. All right. So what, what, are, what are you thinking? Well, I know th round three was definitely DTG, so, I mean. It's uh, close. It's a close. It's very close. Well, Huss has the announcement. Come on, Huss. Start talking, brother. I'm tired of it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge Ken Curtis scores the bout 29 to 28. Judge Seamus Dunn scores the bout 29 to 28. Jack Goodwin scores the card to 29 28. And your winner by unanimous decision, the boss man from the corner shop. Hello! Kenny! Oh, no, no, don't Kenny! Do <laughs> <laughs> I know where you're going. <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, no. Even Halal Ham couldn't believe it. Oh.